Hey, hello guys, I hope you're all feeling well. Today we are playing the demo version of Mouthwasher, where our spaceship is stranded far off its shipment route. So basically, <laughs> so we are basically lost in the space and running out of food and air while opening the cargo hold that could make our chance of surviving a little bit better is prohibited by the company who we are working for what we will do i want to see let's go man the main title is already make you dial in just let's start pony express long haul space fighter topper it is a crew of five and it's really serene planned shipment duration 382 days elapsed transit time 147 days I hope this hurts. I would be lying if I told you that I get what this transcription says. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Glitching out. Five days before the crash. Curly, I did tell you about my sleeping. The stuff you gave me does take me out for a kip, but not for long. I'm only getting something like a few... Anya? Oh, oh, wait, hold on, sorry. I forgot to recite the company's guidelines. We do one of these every two months. But, company policy. I do you want better. Pony Express bi-monthly psychological welfare examinations. Maximize your potential through a simple medical personal guided interview. Please allow for no more than one hour of company time to conduct the survey. You! Really? Fine, fine sheesh. Sometimes you're a real piece of work, Captain. Ouch. You wounded me, Anya. If that's your professional opinion, do you think they are still let me fly? Um, well, in my professional opinion... Uh, uh, in my professional opinion, we are glitching out. Hopping into the ship. I am a real fan of games that mix their visuals and the overall story really distinguished. Polly says, rise and shine. <laughs> it seems like Polly is getting burned by the sun. So I'm waking up and the sun making a burger out of myself. Polly says, giddy up, galaxy. <laughs> oh, the same. Polly says the same. Okay, okay. Okay, a lot of uh, motivational posters here. Open up the door. <laughs> and even more posters here. <laughs> I think as we are getting more and more desperate, uh, we will hang more and more posters on the wall. Don't be draft. Okay. Boom. Where are we heading? <laughs> I'm so confused by these posters. <laughs> oh. oh. You're Polly. What's up, Polly? You're just watching my back. Just watching my back. I should even be less nervous with Polly behind me. He definitely likes to advertise himself and his notions and his ideas. He's not the guy you could suppress. If Polly has an opinion about something, he will let you know. Wow, Polly is even mutated. Hello, Polly. Why are you mutated? Um, will you will you let me go? No, you're blocking the way. Well, Polly, I take it as a slight warning. I take it, take it as a slight warning. I won't mess with you. So let's go back. The mutated Polly doesn't watch our back anymore. He's just 
He's just really wanting to hinder us. Whoa. Okay. I... Yeah, I think I am on the right track. Events are triggered. Left and right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's a madness. I started to begin to think that we might is Whoa! okay we might uh, we might be some in someone's head two months after the crash Jimmy anyone else would do the same thing we ain't touching the damn cargo the hole is locked down for a reason the only thing worse than dying slowly is not getting paid but it could be something useful, I think. Could be what? Hopes, dreams, and marzipan. Ha! You don't have to. If it helps us survive, it's worth it. Man, Pony Express bosses really aren't chill at all, ha! Huh? Come on, a quick look, one heard. How exactly is this group therapy comedy planning on getting in there? Oh, right, here, boss. You're looking at the meanest swing of the regional junior baseball team. Straight up nearly caught a kick once. I can take the utility X and uh, you were goddamn born fully correct. That's enough. Swansea. There has to be an in case of emergency way inside. I agree with them that greedy sea sweat would rather die than not getting paid. How is that logical? How is that logical? If I remember correctly from the safety protocols, the door should have an alternative access code, but it can only be uncovered using a code scanner device. And only the captain has access to the scanner. Well, of course, go ahead and ask him all about it then. Maybe he'll sing ya uh, the blues too. We don't need him if we find a scanner, get a code and open the hold. For better or worse, I'm captain now. I'll figure it out. Right on. Requires code, code scanner. Oh, I can move, I can move. RMB, MB. I can move with my mouse. Wait. <laughs> Okay, uh... Polly says... Are you waking, Hart? Or are you waking? Hehe! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Polly. I heard enough of you. I heard enough of you in that horrible, horrible ship. You almost killed me. Oh, there's Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy? Oh, that's Daisuke. Looks like it'll be soup again for dinner. You want a rock, paper, scissors for a chicken noodle? And I play Jimmy. How much food do we have left? I'd say like four months ish. Hmm, less than remaining air supply. Man, my mom still straight up stuff me when I get back. I look like Swansea. We'll have a red story to tell though. <laughs> Well, I think every red story has a risk of you not being able to tell others. They might even write articles about us. We could be on TV. That me? Uh, it'll impress the ladies too. Hell yeah. The real problem is us running out of toilet paper. Fatal stuff, man. You should leave that part out of four breaths. Has Swansea been like this towards you for your whole inner ship? That's just how it is, man. Didn't want the spotlight be following him around for an entire year. Don't let him push you around too much. His bark is worse than his bite. He may be cranky, but he's legit a wizard of a mechanic. That's good to know. I was like, you rock! So this is what years and years and years and years of experience looks like. I'm sure he appreciated that. We need to acquire the code scanner. That's my main objective now. Open the door. So, 
Was that just a dream? That first segment of the gameplay? Or it was really before the crash? And all these foams are like covering the holes after the crash. Sweatsy? Utility. Why are you blocking my way from the utility, huh? Ain't just supposed to be figuring out our great cargo robbery. Why are you standing here? Now of your garden business. Everything is my business now because of Curly. I don't want to keep having this conversation. I'm working. I'm keeping this scrap heap from collapsing on all of our sad asses. And before you start, I'm taking a break. Don't you worry, I ain't going over my break time allowance, huh? You're keeping Daisuk out as well? He's supposed to be a help to you. You think I'm laying that knucklehead in there after a crash, roughing it up? Our so-called nurse nearly skewered her leg when the went hatch was open during maintenance. I want her, but it's in one ear and out the other. They took needs to learn somehow. There's probably a relatively competent mechanic in there somewhere. That teeny pooper thinks only with his downstairs long nose. Just like my user's kids back home. No, ain't letting anyone mess around in there. Ah, alright, Swensy. Alright, Swensy, I'm zooming out. You're blocking my way from the utility. But what if the cool thing is there? Have you ever thought about that, Sweatsy? Cockpit, utility, cargo, and medical. So we need to open the cargo, and for that we need to find that code breaker. Back. Oh man. This ship is big. And I don't know yet how I will find my way to the code thingy. Oh, I'm back. How the hell am I back here? Medicine. These are all we have left. Medicine. Painkillers. Pick up. And is there our captain? Hello? He doesn't want to keep still anymore. What about the painkillers? Hey. It just hurts him so much. I can't stand the noise. You didn't make it through nursing school, right? Pony Express sure does know how to cut corners, if nothing else. Eh. Um, I was thinking, we never went back into the cockpit after we dragged him out. It's almost entirely foamed up. Kind of a miracle girl he didn't end up fossilized. But it could still be unstable. I just think, well, it's the only place the coast scanner could still be. Otherwise, we are shit out of luck. I'll take a look. I know you'll figure it out, Jimmy. You're so capable. And I'm so nimble. Also, well, I'm... Um, I was hoping you could help me with Captain. Uh, Curly. Right? Sorry with the Curly's medication? People have to be worth their titles. Don't you think nurse on you? Yeah, forget I asked. I'll take care of it. Do your job, nurse Anya, and I will do mine. For example, I'll make it even more cozy for our captain. We're switching on the radio, finding the perfect sign to the perfect song, to the perfect channel. Oof. It's Captain. Can we do something here? I mean, I use painkillers. His mouth is closed. I see it otherwise. It's a little bit open. So is there a way for us to open his mouth? Captain. I don't know what your sin is, but it must be rough. If the world handled you so poorly, don't worry, Captain. I will figure out the method to open your mouth. We are still just scratching off the possibilities of our technologies, Captain. 
But I will figure out something. So we need to find a cockpit. Because that's the last area the code breaker was last seen. And this is where we will need to put in the code. What's this? Captain access only. Code scanner required. Okay. So off to go to the cockpit. And on the way, I will figure it out, out a way to open um, our captain's mouth. Because he's suffering. Cockpit? Uh, cockpit? Ooh. Wow. It was a short way here. Let's say... Hey, that's a scanner! Pick up! Open the cargo hold. That's my new objective. <laughs> God damn! That was easy. I thought that... Uh, we would need to go through like thousands of doors with thousands of enemies and mysteries we meet along the way. But now we just went back to cockpit and bada boom bada boom. There was the code scanner. Well, wow, our pod disappeared from in front of the utility. It's not blocking our way anymore. But wait, <laughs> hello? Hello, I, I want to talk to you. Our nurse should be there, here. Even if she couldn't make the situation worse with her presence. Okay, zoom in now. So, we are here. We can open this door. But as I promised, we will open our captain's mouth. Until we can do that, that's my life mission. Only after then comes opening up the cargo. Are you gonna feed Curly his meds? He really suffers without them. Yeah, yeah. His bandages are also looking wet. I know. We are out of fresh ones. I should be able to do that. What the heck? What am I screwing up? Oh, I can do it with my mouse. Uh, okay. Fast, we need to be... <laughs> Hostia, I don't like this anymore than you do. You know what they say? Pain is how we know we are still living. That's a real, real wise crack right there. I can't bear to listen. Excuse me, <laughs> sorry. She was running away. In tears. Ooh. Hey, is our captain dying? Okay, still alive. Okay, but his kill is in a very, very bad condition. Very bad condition. Anya, what's wrong? I mean, goddamn! Look, I would take the captain's place if I could. Not everyone is a winner, you know, Anya. We have to live with it. Anya? We don't have a whole lot of painkillers left. But you still want to keep... Why do you think he did it? Does it matter? I still don't know what he did. What answer would make you feel any better? I have to believe that our worst bombings don't make us monsters, Jim. I have to, even in this case. He tried to take us all down with him, Anya. Oh, that's what happened. So they crashed because of the captain? Tried to crash them? I mean, you know, knowing that you are gonna run out of food, air and whatsoever, trying to crash your plane is not the worst idea. So don't think that the captain is a monster, just wanted to have the others not suffering. And he ended up suffering the most. <laughs> It's so ironic. The way I see it, there's two reasons to keep him alive at this point. Guess the important bit is that we all agreed to it for one reason or other. I'm still feeling nauseous. I I need a minute. Okay. I give you a minute, Anya. But then pull your nerves back together. Because we got a job. We need to get down. How are you, Captain? You know, between me and you. I might have probably done the same. 
Another painkiller. Oh, can we shove down the coat scanner in the captain's throat? Oh, I'm scanning you. We'll find a solution one way or another, captain. So, coat scanner, uh, put it away, put it away. We are about to find out something that would save all of us and who knows maybe getting back to our place they will figure out something so you could feel better too hello crew let me hear your final thoughts before we end the cargo what do you think Anya? are we doing the right thing? let it be medicine, food or water Anya since the last captain couldn't crash the plane so we all die. Now we're bound to suffer. Lack of air and food. So anything is better than that. What about you? What do you guys think we've been shipping? If it's spare parts, maybe me and Swensi can repair the ship and we can get out of here. Right, Swensi? Quip quipping. <laughs> Swensi is the most awesome character. Well, get on with it. This is all you. I want it duly noted that I have no involvement in this. Swensi, let me tell you something. Instead of me, you should have been the next captain. Busting out the code scanner. Click. And pick, pick, pick. Uh, code scanner. How does it work again? Code scanner required. Use light to reveal the code. Oh, there. Da da da. Aha, I found it. Four, five. We could have, we could have tried out lemonade. Maybe that would have worked too on the paper. So it's four, five, seventeen. Four, four, seventeen. Black. Black. Okay, it's open. <gasps> What's inside here? Oh my god. Oh, I'll be buggered. It seems like it's classified documents, if anything. It's not food, no medicine, no ship parts, but goddamn, that nabby, they seem like documents with a television inside. Was it? <laughs> was it just a test? Was it just a test? This was just a simulation of a possible crew and the only crew passes the ones who wouldn't open the cargo, huh? What's, what's this? Hold on. Business operating at a steady profit can give its workers security and employee benefits. Operating at a profit, a business can provide the employee with comfortable, colorful working conditions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> High wages and steady employment and have plenty of leisure to enjoy the peace and quiet of family <laughs> life. Even if you have a devilish kid. You can have a nice life. Oh, okay, it's looping. I thought that was uh, holding the solution. It's not. Okay, that that skeleton is a pioneer of its kind. I've never seen a skeleton dancing like that. Ah, and and zooming, zooming. That means something. A revolutionary new dental hygiene products. <gasps> we were carrying hygiene product. Oh my goodness. Dragon breath. Mouth away. <laughs> All of these boxes contain the dragon breath mouth mouthwash. Oh no. Oh no. It's this is Mouthwash. I mean, maybe, you know, they were worrying about running out of toilet papers. So what if you can use mouthwash since it's a defect and, you know, no. clean your ass. It's not the worst they could have carried. Oh, fucking believable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is just so sad. There's gonna be an ocean of stuff in here. Oh, they are all mouthwash. I can't even see the floor. This is what they have five people holding for over a year? All of this? 
maybe it's a revolutionary one. You first try it out, then judge, Jimmy. The sugar content probably offsets any potential as a disinfectant. Oh no, okay, so I was even lying about the disinfectant attribute of this product. Disinfectant? What are you? Let me see that. 14% uh, ethanol. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I suppose we'll smell good at least. That's right, kiddo. You can bite your ass on that. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop that! Oh no. He has either gone crazy or he's the real inventive guy. You wee! Oh, shut up. I'm just an old carger taking care of his dental hygiene. You hear that? He is gonna use it as an alcohol to get boozed. That's the sound of 13 years of sobriety of poppy like a sized. A glorious, magnificent, red hot sized. Good riddance and cheers. Her to the captain. I I was telling the future there to Captain Curly here here. Yes, anyone could get seriously blasted off of this stuff. Yeah, and kill you in the process. This can't be real. I there's no way. Now we can go out in style. Daisu, come here. I know I never teach how to drink like a man. Huh? Huh? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Captain! Sitting on a table and is it a birthday cake? Sit down. We should have some. Why? It's Maria Corred best, obviously. Sometimes you can only get the subpar stuff. That's what makes the really good stuff well good, right? Why, brother? Hey, we all tried to escape. Didn't worry for any of us. I thought many times, is this what peace feels like? And is it good enough? If I'm being real, it certainly isn't the best. So all I can do is to try and make my life one. I'm not trying to run from all of the time. Sometimes I'll be promoted, buy a house, fall in love. But other times I just have some awful fucking cake with my friend. Right now, that sounds pretty brilliant, ha. Huh? So, if you'll do the others, right. Well, let me go find a knife. We just punch a cake. Haven't you ever punched a cake? It feels good. So, knife, 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 beep, boop, beep, scanning room. It should be in the kitchen, but it's all formed off. And god dang it, I've just seen it. We've drank a huge portion of that mouthwasher. Even our captain got back on his feet after so much ethanol and sugar. It's a knife. Oh? Wait, did it glitch out? Or was it just the blinking? Oh my goodness, we drank it all. Just for shits and giggles. We made a big mess. <laughs> How did we even survive? After drinking so, so many mouthwashes. Oh? Is that the knife the captain was talking about? We can do that. Got backs. Faced. Wow, who died here? Is that the eyes of our captain? Are we all like hallucinating now? Never mind. I have my axe with me. Use axe. I can't use it here. Look, we can cut up our cake. It'll be a bit bloody, but I assume we still have some mouthwasher that we could use afterwards. 
Oh, the music is getting stronger. What is it implying? Wow. 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 Captain is the cake. So, Captain, are you the only one and me who's left? How is it even possible? And are you willing to sacrifice yourself just so I could live for another week in your limbs? Do I really have to cut up uh, our captain? And does he even have a better option? I don't think so. So, Captain, I'd be really interested in your last words. But we will end it here, okay? No more pain. No more pain. I will be quick. Use X. I can't use it here. Then where can I use it? Here? Now? Okay. Now I... Ooh. Start with the neck. That didn't really went quite as well as I wanted it to go. That is my professional opinion. Doesn't account for my does it? Also, my personal one. Oh, even better. Great, great, wonderful. I'm not doing this too. Did you ever consider what this would do to us, to everyone? So Anya was talking about revealing the documents or something. Here's a thought. Hmm. Some animals do better in cages. Others start gnawing their own legs off. The rest, well, they <laughs> end up being like our captain, I guess. Thank you for playing. Thank you for creating an awesome demo. That was a really sad, cruel, but at the same time, hilarious game. <laughs> it was twisted in every way and I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, consider subscribing or just leaving a like or a comment under the video. And with that, Bye!